Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to use real-time insight service in the IBM Internet of Things Cloud. So basically what I'm going to go through is um, sign up on Bluemix, then we deploy some um, HTML code slash app in Bluemix. We create some service for the app, um, or we enable the Internet of Things service, and then we add the real-time uh, insight service to the app. Then we connect the app to the Internet of Things cloud, and then we're going to check some messaging and display the data in the real-time insight dashboard. So basically, it looks like this pretty much. You know, that's a device. We use MQTT messages to the Internet of Things cloud, and um, then we're going to use this real-time. Um, here's uh, another picture of the subscribe and publishing things then in the real-time insight we're going to use a visual visualize the data from the devices and we can use actions so in the end of the day you want to see this here from uh, our device okay so let's get started so oops, this later. so we're going to sign into bluemix so i just uh, created a bluemix account fresh uh, we should have nothing in here. So we should just see an empty dashboard in the Bluemix system or a console. So what we're going to do is we just going to Google IBM GitHub IoT phone. Uh, like an HTML5 app which basically takes location and accelerator meter and, uh, and movement information and sends it by um, sends it to um, to our Internet of Things cloud. So before we can deploy it we have to give um, Jazz hub uh, some sort of alias, so we just create one here. So now I deploy my little HTML5 app. So since this is deploying in the meantime, it's going to take a bit. We're going to um, add another service to our console, and this service is called um, Real Time inside so you're going to find this in the service catalog under blue mix labs and it's on the bottom here and it's called real time insights iot real time insights so we're just going to click this and we're going to add this to see in the meantime we can see the deployment of our little iot html phone app So what we need to do, I could have waited a bit, we need to add our real-time insight service here. Here we go. We add this puppy here. Uh, these stages, credentials, fork, and so forth. So I'm going to just copy those and park them here. Okay, so now our app is running. What this means is, let's click it here. So all the app does, and I'm gonna call it desktop. So what we should see is that this app is gonna send messages to our IoT Internet of Things broker. So if I start this. Service here. I'm going to launch the dashboard. And you should see a device. Here's my desktop. And we, it's shooting these messages. So the event is called sensor data, and here are the different data points in it. We see 
if we need any changes here. Take this phone out here. And let me add the developer bar. And in Chrome there's this little things where you can basically simulate some of the movements and we see them here. So we know from an infrastructure point of view we can send messages from a device to IoT Cloud. So let's get back to Bluemix. Here, go back to the dashboard and we're gonna fire up real time insights. So, here we need some connection information. Just here, yeah. So, basically, this is how real time insights connects to the IoT cloud and then grabs my device information. should see so real-time insights um, you can learn about more about this you know real-time insights and when you click the learning button it has two personas we're gonna just use the administration persona and I already played with this before so but we see here our desktop is right there and if I find my other window there we go so if I fiddle with this we see that this number here is changing so now we can go to the dashboard find my desktop and basically a similar thing here so we should get a lot of data. So I can do the same thing with the phone. So I take this URL here and use my phone. I'm going to plug this into my phone here. One second. So I delete this uh, half this guy for now. So go back to devices. I'm going to call this guy um, my demo. So if we go back to the, so we see that my phone is now sending also messages. So if I shake my phone, we get some more data. So if we go back here, we see here is my phone, my device. So we can go to the dashboard. You can actually change those dashboards if you like. You can also, um, based on the location, the different location of the phones and their uh, devices which use that application. So that's pretty, pretty neat. And you can create your own rules. Basically where you can take some of the data and then send messages idea anyway. 
there are different you can customize the dashboards and um, you can also customize the information you want to see here on those uh, Okay, so that was pretty much it. There's one other thing if you want, you can actually <coughs> change the code of that little HTML app. You can also take the message uh, topic and um, the message uh, structure to, so here's a code basically which collects the accelerator, rotation, and uh, location. So you can, yeah, can change it, but you can also use this kind of structure to basically create your own uh, um, native applications. So if you have any questions, um, you can start uh, obviously using Lumix. And if you have any questions, you can just contact me.